You are now tuned in to The One Man Show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Morning, troops. So, a couple of people have been asking me recently, uh, how did I get started in what I do? It's a secret. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, it isn't really. It was just something which I decided to do. Now, that might sound a bit flippant, but it was. You see, I came out of the army, fell into selling advertising in guidebooks for a guy. And he owed me a lot of money. So I set up against him. Now, the fact that I set up against him, that story came back to bite me in the arse a few years later. And then I had a business with 40 staff, producing guidebooks, magazines. But I noticed that film was the way forward. Text me a lap to get me bloody breath, you know. And uh, I produced film for the very first time in 2003 and put it online. Now take into account that this was before anybody had even heard of YouTube. Never mind anything else. So. We embedded it. <laughs> we embedded it. Um, onto a website for a hotel in the Lake District. And uh, I wrote underneath, you may have to wait 20 minutes for the film to start playing. Go and make a cup of tea. And I thought that was the much nuts. I thought it was brilliant. Woohoo! E, looking back, it was bloody disgusting. But I knew that was my way forward. So I built the business, had 40 staff all over the country, selling uh, advertising and films and everything. And then in 2009, a girl that worked for me decided to try and set up against me and I found out about it and I sacked the friggin lot went in said this is what's happening oh we know right you're fucking sacked and I closed the door instantly closed the door and uh, I mean, that jumps quite a bit, actually. That jumps quite a bit about what went on. But I'm not going to digress into that. And um, I got on my bike. And I rode across to the lakes. And I was sat on a road in between Hawkshead and Windermere, where you would go to go to the ferry across Windermere. Sat there and went, I'm going to do motorbike TV. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do motorbike TV. I'm going up a hill now. (sighs) 56 doing this, I must be mad. Because technology had allowed people to film. The cameras had got smaller. For example, bigger version of what I'm using now, but smaller than uh, the big whack and great cameras you put on your shoulder. Um, And I went and did three tours for the lakes. They're still online. And uh, I guess the rest is history. 
But beginning of last year, I uh, recognised I needed to do more. And having been in publishing, I knew what to do. But there was no way I was going to go back into print. So the Motorbike Rider magazine. Motorbike Rider. Motorbike Rider. Was born. More or less at the same time, I started to be sponsored by Held Rider Equipment. And we had a chat. <sighs> Hence, Motorbike Adventures of Britain. <laughs> and the magazine is now leaning towards that. But at the same time as this, a little shit decided that he would try and produce a digital magazine as well. And I've noticed he's bought followers on Facebook because even more established than I am. He's got more followers. Nah, don't believe it. It's a big friggin' lie. When you consider Overland magazine, which to me is the ultimate adventure magazine out there, even they don't have as many followers as this tit. But if he needs to cheat, again it'll come back and bite him in the arse. So that's really how I got going and what I do. But I'm suffering and have been suffering for a couple of years with severe arthritis in my shoulders. So riding the FJR is now becoming very painful to the point where I ride an awful lot just using my right hand, resting my left arm down by the side of me. And that's just madness. That's just bloody dangerous. So I bought some risers, some heli bars. Pardon me. It's going to raise up a bit uh, and bring it towards me. So I'm hoping that's going to work. Piss off fly. There's a fly going to go over the lens there. If not, I'm going to try an adventure bike. Because I absolutely bloody love what I do. But believe it or not, I do all myself. I ride, I film, I talk, I edit, I produce the digital magazine. Absolutely everything you see on what I do, I do myself. I don't have anybody else that needs to put something together. Actually, I could get bloody annoyed about this arsehole who's trying to copy everything I do. And if he continues to do so, we're going to end up having a meeting. And I think it might just be a one-way conversation. But, whilst I moan and groan about some of the things that I want to talk about, I discovered yesterday morning, I was messaged on Facebook, back in the day, back in the early 80s, I was a recruit instructor in the army, in the Remy, at Arborfield. And I came across this guy, Roger Howe, who came after me through another platoon. And we became bloody good friends. In fact, we went everywhere together. He was a little fat, <laughs> stoke on Trent chap. But laugh, God, the laughs we had. He was a character larger than life. Haven't heard from him for 27 years, 25 years. Recently popped up on Facebook because I put a photograph of me on there. And uh, he says, if you're not RD, how have you, why have you got a picture of the Leah? I wrote back and said, because I am the Leah of fame and fortune. Uh, 
He didn't reply. Ah, oh dear. He died two nights ago. And it's hit me a bit. Don't know why. Haven't met the guy for years. But I had a connection with him. Good old Roger Howe. God bless you, son. 58 year old. Don't know why or how he died. Don't know. But it made me think. The privilege we have to walk on this planet. To do what we want. To be who we want to be with. To experience whatever we would like. Life isn't short. It's long. And you can do a hell of a lot with it. I'm currently 56, Roger was 57, just gone January. Uh, 58, sorry, just gone January. I'm 57 this October. And it just made me sit and think and go, do you know, there's nothing to worry about. You don't know when that privilege is going to be taken away from you. To do what you want, when you want, with who you want for as long as you want. And no matter what your situation, Roger would swap places with you now. In a heartbeat. And on that note, until the next time, bye bye for now. One man show. You are watching the one man show. Ooh, one man show.